Well, it's raining, not that bright out. Um, I have all the lights on. Hopefully the video quality comes out okay. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the curtain rod in the front so I can add the black privacy curtains across, you know, behind the driver's seat and passenger seat. Um, we're also going to fix the knob on the stove that I showed in the previous video and a few other odds and ends. All right, well, the curtain rod's up. You can see how I wanted to have the privacy curtains here. Um, I just used a standard bar across. I did buy the track that attaches to the ceiling, but I didn't want to screw into the ceiling anymore, and I wasn't sure how it was going to work, and it was too heavy for the ceiling, so I just went this route. Um, I don't know how good the uh, light is. I know I say that a lot, but unfortunately... I don't have uh, the GoPro camera. It's three panels, closes off nicely, and the test so far, uh, you can't see any light coming through. Even with every light on inside the rig, the nose looks pitch black, which is awesome. So there we go, one project done. Let's go on to the next one. All right, the next project, you guys know the uh, knob was broken on the uh, stove here. It just stripped out the stem here on the igniter is stripped out. So the knob just kind of turns and turns and turns. I'm going to mix up some JB Weld and uh, fill it in and stick that right in there. I think it'll harden to the shape, um, this like triangular shape that's in here or half round crescent shape as well as what's left of this one. I think we can uh, get it to last at least for a while. You know, there's two screws here where I can actually take this igniter out and put a new one in, but it still works fine. Um, it's just the tip of it got stripped. So we'll see, we'll see how long it lasts. If it lasts a month, excellent. If it lasts a year, even better. If it lasts forever or as long as I own the rig, even better. Uh, if it doesn't, then I will purchase the new igniter and just replace the whole thing. So I'm going to mix up some JB Weld and stick it on there. All right, well, I don't know if you guys know about JB Weld or not, so I figured I would just do a little quick shot of it here. What it is, it's a hardener, which is the beige whitish uh, material, and the actual weld, which is the black. You mix equal parts of the two together and uh, until it's a nice gray color. You know, you just kind of keep mixing it and mixing it and mixing it together until you get a nice gray color. And it doesn't look all striped anymore. And once that happens, uh, it sets up in about 15 minutes. Leave it overnight and it should be good to go. Uh, JB Weld is good for up to 500 degrees or 550 degrees and it's non-toxic after it dries which is kind of cool too um, but it's good stuff you know it's better than your normal crazy glue and when you need something a little thicker like an epoxy uh, JB Weld works great so we'll stick it in there and let it set up all right knob is on and we'll let that set up overnight at least and we'll check it out tomorrow. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Uh, if it doesn't, I've lost nothing. If it works, I've gained everything. So, cool. JB Weld. Every toolbox should have some JB Weld. Okay, well next, just moving right along, I've got this channel here. And that's going to go right in between the door and the cabinet. Right up in here, like that. And it pops off so that I can run wires through it and have it be all neat and tidy. So we're going to screw that to the wall and I'll show that to you. All right. Uh, don't pay attention to the clock. It doesn't work. That'll be coming down as soon as I find something I like. But you can see the channel I have in here. I only put three screws. You don't need a lot. And what that'll do is when the time comes, because I'm going to need to run wires through here to go to for some LED lighting as well as some security cameras and the wires from the DVD player that's in the cab. 
Uh, just drill a small hole in the cabinet on each side and then run the wires right through here. And then after the wires are run, you take this cap and just snap it right on there and it looks nice and clean. You would think that it was uh, put there when they built the coach. Alright, that's another one off the list. And we're just preparing for the TV to go right over there. Um, and I also want to drill two holes in here, actually three holes. I'm going to put in auxiliary, 12 volt outlet, some USB ports, and a voltage monitor so I can monitor the batteries here without going into the back bedroom um, and looking at the charge controller. So. I don't think I'll do that this video, I'll do that another video.